So when they do a slower song, it always sounds so nice. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, Dominic here. Davis right there. We're going to Boga to the state park. Yes, green light, baby. That good fistful of it. <laughs> no, I think that's blackberries. All right, guys, Davis just found the first herp of the day that was able to be caught in hand. It's this little southern toad. toad that's like super red. Uh, anyway, really pretty. We don't see a lot of them like this, so I'm going to take some pictures and then uh, we're going to let them go. Uh, we'll check back in with you guys if we find anything else. Yeah. As you know, we're in Bogota State Park, so hopefully we'll be finding and some really cool things. we did find a DOR copperhead already, which is yeah. really sad in a state park, but that's good because that means they are here. Yeah. So we're going to keep hitting it our hardest and we'll get back with you guys what we can find. All right, we'll check back in with you all in a bit. Here, wait, wait, check this out, sandbar. Sandbar. I won't. The biggest thing is not to trip and fall. It's like the shape and it's got a little point at the top. Right uh, Davis and I just found this next, uh, I was throwing away my peanut butter jelly trash when uh, we found this little baby fence lizard. Which... First harp of the day, baby. Yeah. Or I guess we did find that toad earlier. Yeah. So you all seen me catch these before in um, the Gulf State Park. But uh, these are a really cool lizard, and uh, this is actually my first one in my home state, so I'm really happy to have found it. But these are some of my favorite lizards to find, and so I'll probably get a picture before we're releasing them. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit when we find our next herp. Who in the hell throws stuff away like this? Literally not... half of this bag was hanging out of the trash can. People who are not good at throwing things away. Guys, uh, this here is... I don't even know what's going on really, actually. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll see something. Don't worry, this isn't the type to uh, really mess him up. Uh, he's not going to come in too close to us. I'll meet you there. Dude, a clam just released a bubble which the current caught and the way the sunlight reflected it, we it's need to so explore cool. this. This is like prime, especially because it's all sand. How long, how long to last? Soft shell? Yeah. Catch it. All right, I'm coming for you. Do you have it? I'm coming for you. I told you. Haha. -ha. You got it? Yep. Oh, nice. I caught it. Bro. Oh, Hold up. Make sure you've got it. You've got it. Yes. I caught a soft shell. What's it? Dude, isn't that awesome? I caught him too. That is awesome. Better keep hold of him, please. <laughs> we need pictures. Oh, you might want to take a clip. May I hold him for the clip? Yeah, here you go. I've been taking a clip. I was taking a oh. clip of me walking because I thought we were going to find something. <laughs> and we did. <laughs> we got a soft shell. I think this is a spotted soft shell. Um, it may be. I don't know exactly which ones are here. I'll have to check their ranges and whatnot. I think they're whatnot. spotted. But uh, you can see they're called the soft shell right here. Or they're called soft shells because they got this leathery soft shell. Uh, either way, I love baby soft shells. They're super pretty. We're definitely going to get some good pictures of this guy. You have my phone, right? Yep. I just realized I didn't have it. I was like, fuck, did I drop it in the river? Dude, they literally disappear. He like came from that way and stopped like there and literally just disappeared. Like he was gone. Yeah, they do the that. Only thing you can see is like a few cracks in the uh, As y'all saw in the last clip, we did catch a baby soft shell turtle, but because we haven't taken all the pictures we want yet and there's some really cool area that we need to cover, um, we're going to use our crocs as temporary holding containments while Davis and I walk barefoot throughout the uh, sand. There's a really large area of river that we can cover. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll find some pretty cool things. Um, we'll get some better clips of the turtle with the phone later. But for right now, we're gonna go exploring. <laughs> All right guys, this is the uh, little baby soft shell. Uh, as you can see, he's gorgeous. Let's look at his back pattern. Look at that. About the size of my palm. I love soft shell turtles. They've gotta be some of my favorite turtles. But yeah, uh, at least the baby ones. The big ones are kind of yucky sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I'm gonna step in the shade. Well, Davis is going to get some pictures of this guy, and then uh, we're going to take some uh, riskier shots with him in the water, and then we're going to set him free. All right, see you guys in the next clip. Guys, I would like to de demonstrate something real quick. So a lot of times these soft shell guys just kind of disappear, and what that is is they're 
highly adapt with these very long necks that they just dig and into the sand noses. and they stick their heads out the top. Well, did you just drop him and he disappears? Yeah. Do it again. No, like oh, that. yes, that's good, that's good, that's good. I can't really see what I'm taking pictures of. Is the glare so bad? But... Here, let's get to an underwater clip because we know he can't escape now. All right, guys, here we have one of the next trips of the days. This is a little EFT Eastern Newt. Uh, these guys are really cool. I was not expecting to find one of these, but boy, am I happy I did. Um, I think this is not Davis's life or Eastern Newt because we I have caught some I've... before. Oh, yeah, we caught the water ones. But, but he's I've never caught an EFT. EFT. So Eastern Newts go through a different type of stage of life. They start out as larvae in the water like uh, most salamanders do. And then they emerge into this EFT stage, but as adults, they go back into the water when sexually mature and live there. But so this guy is in the EFT stage right now, and they're really pretty when they're in this stage. This guy's like black, too. Yeah, very cool. The one I found that was like this was really bright red, and this one's really dark. So it's nice to see some variation, but this guy's really cool. Definitely going to get some pictures. Uh, we haven't been finding a lot of super notable things today. Um, when we look back, it's been a lot of smaller things that I'm super grateful to have found and will be really grateful when I post these pictures but, um, but we need more. We, we, we want to find a snake today. We've seen a dead copperhead and someone who said they killed one yesterday. So we're Which, really I'm not really certain of the legality of that in a state park. But, uh, but yeah, that means they are here. We just cannot find one. So we're going to keep at it for a little bit longer. And we'll see you guys in the next clips. Oh, I got him. All right. There you go. His next trip of the day is this gorgeous. Look. You can tell by his pattern. Oh, okay. <laughs> got him yes male fence lizard and so uh something Can about him? yeah i will show off that. his belly yeah yeah and the neck something about these male fence lizards they have these beautiful blue patterns he's not as them. vibrant as some we've seen i think that's because he's in shed probably. yeah probably but uh yeah i love fence lizards so much they're so cool we have been trying without success to catch some six line race runners uh but you guys know how Whoa. hard those are to catch i got him i got him uh, but yeah, I want to just get a release or you want to take pictures? I want to take a picture. Okay. But yeah, pretty cool guy. We're just going to release him and after taking pictures and we'll see you guys in Oh no. That's where Zephyr runs through. Uh, All right, you ready? Are you just going to sprint? Yeah. Oh, All boy. right. You too, man. I am. I'm just not doing it yet. I was checking what time it was. All right. I'm coming. And we're good. Davis, you're flying like a bird. So it is oh, oh that's snake. a snake. Oh, yes. Nerodia. Oh, my God. He's Did you get it? Kind of. Did you find it? He's, he's, wait, what? Shit, where'd it go? He's in here. Davis, take this. Yep. We're going to dig for him. Drop it. Oh, no. It's going to be bad. Where'd he go? I don't know. We gotta keep looking. I can't believe it. If anything, it was just a plain belly. But I mean, it was just a plain belly, but like... I want to find him. I'm angry now. I shouldn't have hesitated. No, you're fine. I hesitated too. I mean, I guess there are snakes here, though. I still want to look, though. Where did he go? Did he just disappear in there? He went under this shit. Check. No. Is that a complete cottonmouth shed? Is it? I don't know. Let's look at the head. It looks kind of like that snake we just saw. No, this is much smaller. No, this is a water snake. I thought it was a traveling black racer. Is that snake out there? Yeah. Oh, snake, snake, snake. Where? I what? can't tell what it is. This way. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Where? In those three trees. Diamondback, I think. Okay, wait. Where? Wait. That might be a midland. I'm not kidding. Wait, where are you pointing? Come look, come look. Under that big bramble of trees. I see moving. Yeah, he's moving. Okay, wait. I. Oh, right there. Where? Come here. It's a really nice looking bandit, I think. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about. That is a bandit, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Got it. Got it? No, I don't. All right, guys, I'm filming on here because the GoPro battery is pretty low and my SD card is full because I'm uh, 
I, I forgot I was filming and didn't turn it off. But uh, just a little narrow mouth toad here, not something super rare. Pretty cool though, gonna grab a picture and then we're gonna put him back under his rock. And then we're gonna keep on keeping on. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, Davis and I are calling it. Uh, GoPro is out of storage and almost out of battery. Uh, we've been looking for stuff for a while and haven't really found much. Uh, we did see two snakes today that we didn't get to film. There were these two water snakes that uh, we didn't end up catching. But we just figured we'd end the day with these horses. Because uh, we're, we're off now. Alright. Uh, this might not be enough to make its own video, but if it is, uh, I'm really glad that you watched this. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and we'll see you real soon.